Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can already tell by that title, today we're going to take a look at not only any good VPN, but the best VPN that the tech world has to offer. Yeah, we don't play around here. Welcome to our annual roundup of the best VPNs for 2023. And as much as I know you guys love watching plain, boring review videos, I prefer to keep things interesting. So you've already seen me torture myself with chili sauce, but my benevolent overlords have decided that, that was not enough. So in this video, I'm going to do it again. That's right, I'm going to be enjoying this bowl of super spicy Korean fire noodle ramen. I'm so scared. But before we jump right in and before the pain begins, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the thumbs up button on this video because your support means the world. Now, let's get into it. Ranks go from S down to D, with S being the best and D being the worst. Why it's that way is beyond me, it's just how it is. Don't question me. When we review a VPN, we aren't just trying to find technical weaknesses. We're also taking a look at their individual performance strengths. It helps to know what each service does best, and that's what we look for. Browsing and streaming speeds are what we look for the most, but we also take a look at connection stability and potential privacy leak. Also, I've left links to each of the VPNs that I mentioned in this video down in the description. Best VPN in 2023. So, let's go. Spicy and hot. Okay, getting us started is ExpressVPN, a name that I'm sure you've already heard from countless sponsorships on YouTube. In fact, today's video has actually been sponsored by... Buddha Samyang, <laughs> Korean fire noodles. Almost got you there, didn't I? ExpressVPN is one of the most popular VPNs out there, and for good reason. It's got apps for Android and iOS, which have a streamlined minimalist approach that helps you connect quickly and painlessly. Through these apps, you'll be able to select your desired location with your fastest nearby city selected by default. This VPN includes an onboard IP address checker, as well as a password generator and two separate leak detectors. It's pretty neat, but nothing too special. ExpressVPN has also recently published details about its trusted server deployment process, increased its third-party independent audit count, and released an open source lightweight encryption protocol. Needless to say, they have nothing to hide and they want you to know. With more than 3,000 servers in 94 countries, you'll have plenty of options to choose from. Their plan offers 5 simultaneous connections for $13 a month, 6 months for $60, or $100 for a year. There are also two tier subscriptions available. The cherry on the cake, or however that expression goes, is that ExpressVPN operates under British Virgin Islands jurisdiction, which is very piracy friendly. And with just a 2% loss in speed, it's one of the quickest VPNs out there. All in all, ExpressVPN is a great easy to use option for newbies, and for these reasons we're putting it in the A tier. Okay, number two, Surfshark. Oh, there it is! Oh god, man, that hurts! Okay, up next is Surfshark, which is actually the sponsor of today's. Got you again! <laughs> You're so gullible. Surfshark offers an impressive suite of security and privacy features. An interface that's ridiculously easy to use, and unlimited simultaneous connections, and a large global network. Like, like huge. It's got your standard VPN stuff like DNS leak protection and a killer kill switch. Some of its more impressive features include its camouflage mode, which hides the fact that you're using a VPN, multi-hop VPN connections, and no borders mode, which lets you use Surfshark in regions where VPNs are restricted. That's a unique bonus that you'll be hard pressed to find from other VPNs. Surfshark has a network of more than 3,200 servers in 99 countries and is under the jurisdiction of the Netherlands. Basically, you can... <clears throat> Acquire whatever you want with Surfshark. They offer unlimited connections for 48 bucks in your first year, then $60 every year after that. Alternatively, you can pay 13 bucks a month. The cherry on top is that it produces a mere 19% internet speed loss when activated, which is not bad. For its excellent features, unlimited connections, and large network of servers, I'm putting Surfshark into the coveted S tier. Surfshark, if you're watching this, I love you. Okay, number three, NordVPN. Don't let me down, Nord. Ow. Ow. I think I like the pain. If it's reliability and compatibility that you're after, then NordVPN has got you covered. Another popular option, NordVPN offers a generous number of simultaneous connections, as well as a dedicated IP option for those looking for a different level of connection. While NordVPN is blocked in 14 countries, it has a server fleet of more than 5,000, each of which is optimized for peer-to-peer -peer sharing. 
They're under the jurisdiction of Panama, which is fairly lenient when it comes to your browsing options. You can get your hands on six simultaneous connections for $12 per month or $67 a year with two year subscriptions available. This also gets you access to more than 5,500 servers in 84 countries across a whopping 59 countries. That is a lot. Well met Nordy, you're going in the S tier. All right, number four, Proton Mail. Proton Mail? I mean Proton VPN. I mean, it's pretty spicy. Why not make this a challenge for all you freaks watching this too? Take a shot every time I say VPN. We'll see who's laughing by the end of this. This does kind of hurt you guys. Anyway, Proton VPN is up next. They're a great option for tall users and are known for their open source transparency. While they might not have the largest fleet of servers at their disposal, they're still a great option for the average user. It's also one of the fastest VPNs out there, clocking in at a minimal 9.6% speed loss compared with speeds clocked when not using a VPN. It is a good choice for torrenting, thanks to its reliable kill switch and steadfast peer-to-peer -peer traffic encryption. However, it's important to note that Proton has fewer torrent-friendly servers than other VPNs, and the free version doesn't support torrenting traffic to the same degree. Under Swiss jurisdiction, Proton VPN has more than 1,700 servers across 64 countries in 91 locations. It offers 10 simultaneous connections for $10 a month or $72 annually. Not bad. And there are also two year subscriptions available. IP Vanish is great for those who enjoy customization and offers some flexible configurations that make it an appealing choice for the average person. It's got a range of switches that control things like VPN protocol and LAN connection allowance, split tunneling, and of course, the good old fashioned kill switch. This VPN is perfect for the methodical tech tweaker who prefers to have precise control over their mobile internet traffic. However, it's got one major flaw that we just can't look past. It's slow. Clocking in at a 58% speed loss when activated, IP Vanish is no means a quick VPN. It's more like IP Vanish your internet speed. But it's good for peer-to-peer -peer traffic, and it's a good solid choice for torrenters who want to use SOX5 proxy from their VPN. So if you don't know what SOX5 is, essentially this feature allows you to hide your IP address from online services whilst also faking your virtual location. When you subscribe to IP Vanish, you'll have access to more than 2,000 servers in 52 countries. They offer unlimited connections for $11 a month and $16 for three months or $48 each year. Definitely one of the more affordable VPNs out there. While it's got some great features, its slow speed is a big loss. For this reason, we're putting IP Vanish into the C tier. Wait, water makes it worse. Okay, before we get into our last entry on this list, please consider subscribing to this channel and giving this video a thumbs up. It helps feed my family, it helps me keep paying for these noodles, and appeases the overlords for just a little bit longer. Help me out, here. Help me out, please. Okay, number six, it's Tunnel Bear. Let's make this one worth it. <coughs> that sucked. Okay, lastly, we have Tunnel Bear, which you may have heard of it thanks to the crazy hype that it's received over the last few years. Where this hype comes from is a bit confusing since Tunnel Bear is kind of bad. We lost nearly 70% of our internet speed when testing this VPN, which is average for most VPNs, but is terrible when compared to the others on this list. However, it's not all bad. TunnelBear is very transparent, publishing its independent security audits and annual transparency reports. There are no DNS, IP address, or other user identifying data leaks to be afraid of, though TunnelBear was found to leak WebRTC information in the past. So what's the good part? Well, it's pretty good for streaming. With the paid version, you'll have access to more than 48 countries streaming services like Netflix and Hulu. Just be prepared, see what I did there, to fork out $10 per month or $60 annually. They also have a three year plan available for just $120. Tunnel Bear, you're okay, but you're not great, so it's to the C tier with you. In the end, it seems that NordVPN is the best VPN out there. Be sure to let us know what you thought of the video in the comment section below. I literally love being told that I'm wrong by hundreds of people. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll go see you in the next one. Bye!